Steve Stein here. This one is called Riptide, and it's by Vance Joy. Another request I had, uh, it's a current popular song. Uh, very, very easy to play. This is the tune. So all you really need to do is put your capo on the first fret. You're going to play the A minor chord. First finger on the second string. I'm at the first fret relative to the capo. The other two fingers go on. Okay. G. And again, whether it's a three finger, four finger G, first finger, you know, easy G, doesn't make any difference, whatever works for you. And then we go to a C chord. And again, you could go to an easy C if that's all you know. You could go to this C, that which is the regular C. You could go to this C, uh, which is the um, C add nine technically. It doesn't matter, whatever's comfortable for you. So you're going A minor, G, C. That is it. So again, you could do as little as just going A, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, A, 2, 3, 4. If you can strum that, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, or you could go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Or like a. Um, There I'm playing a down, 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 up, down, up strumming pattern, which works quite well for this song. So you're going down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. And you'll notice I'm accenting on the second down, which is beat two. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. So I'm hitting those strings a little bit harder and I'm hitting more of them. Sometimes when you strum, remember, you don't have to strum all the strings all the time. Sometimes what makes it kind of fun is if you shake up. So the first time I hit just a few, and the second time I hit a lot more. Okay, so the first step, of course, is to memorize the progression. A minor, G, C, C. So you're doing A minor for four beats, G for four beats, C technically for eight beats. Okay, with your capo on the first fret. A minor, G, and C, over and over and over. Uh, you get comfortable with changing those chords. You know, remember practice bouncing and all that stuff so your fingers get to the right places. Very smooth. Make sure that all the notes are actually working. When you strum, make sure that you're strumming the proper strings. Don't strum more than you need. Strum the right amount. A minor, you can strum five. G, you can strum all six. If you're playing it this way, if you're playing an easy G, you only strum the bottom three or four. And C, in this case, you'd be strumming all five. Again, you, if you were doing an easy C, you'd strum the bottom three. Okay. So you want to keep those things in mind, otherwise it just becomes very chaotic. When you strum, you get all this noise, and we don't really want that. So, uh, very easy song, a lot of fun to practice uh, as a beginner. Uh, so take a look at that, let me know if you have any other requests.